Hello guys and welcome. Today we are gonna talk about World of Warcraft Classic Cataclysm and which are the best races you can pick. Okay, now Cataclysm Classic is just around the corner so I thought, you know, now it might be a perfect time to actually talk about which races can be picked, which races are best for PvP, PvE uh, and it's also, you know, a really good idea right now to make uh, Cataclysm Classic uh, content because you're gonna get a lot of views, you know, if I make video for Smite I barely get any views. So, now, let's start from the beginning, okay? We're also gonna make a tier list, okay? So, we're gonna do two things at once here. Now, I really wanna talk about some of the races here that I feel like are very, very under and underappreciated. Now Draenei, okay, I think Draenei is one of the most underrated class out there because you actually get a heal that heals you for 20% of, of HP. I feel like Draenei is actually one of the most underrated classes out there because you actually get a really really strong heal, 20% heal is actually insanely good heal and it's actually uh, insta cast and it lasts for 15 seconds. So. And the, the thing here is that this heal actually gets stronger and stronger the longer you play the game because 20% HP uh, scales so well. And for example, if you play Draenei Warrior and you put this heal on yourself, that 20% heal, that's insane. You know, that's not a small amount at all. Um, now let's also start with humans. Uh, humans get PvP racial. Uh, which is actually really good in PvP. But, you know, people say that uh, human is a must pick race for PvP, but that's not really necessary because later the, in the expansion, um, you see, the biggest thing with humans is that you can actually have two relic slots then, you know. Um, but the thing is, later in the expansion, uh, this uh, trinket or relic slot, uh, the PvP trinket is actually really strong in itself, gives you really good stats, and it's not really such a big deal if you can only have one trinket at once. Now, I think night elves are probably, night elves and dwarves are actually all really insane in PvP. You know, in the previous expansions, we couldn't really use shadow melt in combat, but now you can, and this is probably one of the best tool in PvP against any caster. You know, if you play a warrior, if you play death knight, you just pop shadow melt and you deny their whole burst. It's insane. Night elf is probably one of the top PvP picks at the moment. Dwarf. Dwarf stone form is actually also really underrated. Not only you get armor, but you also remove bleeds, uh, poisons, and I think even uh, diseases. Uh, you know, diseases are a huge part of Night uh, Shadow Priest. Um, uh, ferals, rogues, warriors are gonna be all popular classes. And actually, Dwarf is actually one of the best counter against Death Knights. We all know how strong Death Knights are. And if you can remove all their diseases, they basically have no damage. And uh, same with Feral, and uh, same also goes for Warrior. And a, a big thing is also stone form allows you to remove rogue poisons, which are slows, anti-heal, all these are insanely good in PvP. And if you play dwarf, uh, rogue, you can actually stone form, remove dots and then vanish. And this is insanely good in PvP, you know. So, human, dwarf, night elf, all really good picks in PvP. Now let's continue with gnome, okay. Now... Uh, escape artist is insta cast and you can remove slows you can remove um, roots um, if you play a warrior you know gnome is really good pick uh, any melee classes gnome is always gonna be a good pick uh, because if you cannot if people don't realize that slows are one of the strongest crowd control in world of warcraft in any game actually and um, if you are slowed you cannot juke you cannot move you know uh, which is a huge deal now, I'm personally, I really want to show you guys something, okay? I'm actually the most interested in Goblin, actually. Why? Because they actually get another movement ability. And if you play a class like Shadow Priest or Shaman that doesn't really have a lot of mobility, 
this can be insanely huge. And I was also imagining in my head, imagine if you play Goblin Warrior. And then you have charge, you have heroic leap, you have go uh, uh, rocket boots from uh, goblin ability. You can just dash around the battlefield. Imagine how fun can that be? And uh, I was really, I'm really considering going uh, warrior gnome or goblin uh, shaman. Imagine you can uh, jump uh, in the. I imagine you jump into ten people and then you push back everybody <laughs> into the abyss. Okay, imagine how fun can that be? And a lot of the classes that are really strong lack mobility. And if you pick Goblin, then you also have mobility in PvP and that's insane. Okay? Or if you pick uh, Drenai Warrior, right? Imagine Warrior with 20% heal. Like how good is that, you know? Like insanely good. I feel like Blood Elf is also a really good class to main. Uh, especially if you pick something like um, Caster, Mage. Uh, blood elf so imagine you playing mage you have all this aoe ability and then on top of that you also get aoe silence which is actually insanely good against any caster you can uh, play more aggressively you can blink in you can uh, uh, freeze nova everybody you can silence everybody you can uh, use insane aoe you know and silence is really strong crowd control there is nothing you can do once you are if you're silenced and nobody's really gonna trinket this you know it's like really good I think Troll is actually one of the best PvE race in the game. You get 20% casting time. So if you're any serious PvE player, Troll is always gonna be a really good pick. Uh, you also get a reduced duration of uh, slows, I think, which is actually really good in PvP. Um, people uh, say, you know, is Orc, st Orc still good in this game? I think that, you know, since they uh, changed his passive, you see in WoW Classic, Orc had 25% resist to stuns and then you also get naturally 5% resist to stuns on every class, on every race, which is 30% and on top of that, uh, a rogue, exam for example, a rogue also has 1% chance to miss uh, their stuns, you know, so you in total you, have you had 31% resistance to any stun, which is insanely huge, but now they change it, now you only get like 15% reduction to all stuns, so orc is not really good anymore, even though in PvE, uh, in P uh, orc, uh, orc actually still has pretty good ratios, you get bonus power no matter if you play melee or caster, and you don't get anti heal anymore, you know, be previously we get anti heal, it was not really that good. But now it's really good. And that they reduce the durations. They reduce the duration of uh, of cooldown you have on uh, Will of the Forsaken. Okay, if you play uh, like Crackful played Undead Warrior, right? Immunity to Fierce is actually really huge in PvP against Shadow against a lot of casters, Warlock, Shadow Priest, uh, even Warriors have Fierce, you know. So. Um, and it is always gonna be a pretty solid pick. Uh, Tauren, right? If you play Tauren, you have War Stomp. If you play Shaman Druid uh, Tauren, uh, you get uh, a really good uh, uh, CC, uh, which will help you survive, and nobody's really gonna trinket it. So it's actually quite good. And um, if you play like you, if you play, if you if you plan to main tank, you know War Stomp is really really good in dungeons. Those two seconds stun in dungeon especially if you play elite uh, hard difficulty is gonna be really good um in pvp it's a good defensive uh, cc you know there's a lot of things they have uh we also need to mention that Torren get bonus herbalism worgen get bonus skinning uh, dwarf gets bonus archae archaeology so if you want to do some of these professions i highly suggest you pick those races all right, and Goblin can actually make a personal bank. So Goblin is probably gonna be very popular when it comes to bots. And I really hope Blizzard addresses some of these bots issue we had. But I'm actually really concerned. A single, this is the big problem. A single character boost costs like 60, 80 dollars. So nobody is gonna really theory craft, even though every, this is one of the best thing about theory crafting. Uh, one of the best thing about this game, theory crafting, you know, tr trying all these different class combinations and races you can do. But when a character boost costs so much, nobody's really gonna pay for it. 
and nobody's really gonna try all these different combinations in the latest content, in the latest rates. And uh, sometimes it really feels like Blizzard is disconnected, you know, and they got it so good, like, they don't even need to make new content or new game, they, ju they can just rehash 25 year old content that was made from passion and just, uh, you know, make classic out of it. And this is why I'm so divided when it comes to supporting Blizzard, even though the game itself is so good. Uh, World of Warcraft Catalyst is probably one of the best version of World of Warcraft we ever had. We have achievements, we have, uh, dungeon, uh, we have uh, dungeons, you know, where you can just queue up and it's... There is so, you know, we have transmogs, we have mounts, we have even loot bags. Uh, you can farm, uh, there are so many things in this game, so many zones got revamped, um, they put so many in more quests, you know, it really feels like the game was made out of pure passion and love. Okay, we also have to talk about Worgen. Uh, Worgen actually got some really fun ability, you know, imagine if you play Druid Worgen, uh, you get fly form and then you don't even need to mount, you can just use this uh, form and you run on all fours and that looks so cool on a druid. You know, if you play, if you wanna play a druid, I think Worgen is really gonna be fun. It's not the most meta pick, but it's really fun. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to try Goblin, man. Like Goblin Shaman, you know, you have that ability where you, where you can... Um, uh, push back everybody, you know, and then you just jump in with rocket boots and you push everybody down the ledge or you can get on areas that nobody else can and this allows you to be a god to have control and it's gonna be really fun but I still don't know, should I play shaman or a warrior? like imagine warrior with charge, heroic leap, uh, rocket boots, you know he's just gonna jump around the battlefield, that's gonna, that's gonna be so fun and I'm really considering a uh, warrior or a shaman, you know, so we'll see. I never played shaman. I mean, I played shaman, but never in such expansions. You know, I'm already trying to be a support for people in real life, so uh, I don't really want to put too much. You know, healing can be very frustrating. It's very demanding on you. But I want to try healing. I want to try elemental shaman, you know, it could be really fun. Probably one of the f most fun classes out there. So let me guys know what you think. And let's also make a tier list. Um, so this is like a PvP tier list, okay? I mean, it's not even that hard, you know? Let's see, Troll is gonna be really good, Tower and... Have to put somewhere there, Bam, Human, okay? I mean, PvP ratio is always gonna be, Night Elf is always gonna be really good. We have no idea what is this. We have Goblin, we have Drene. Also, yeah, Drene also gives you hit chance, not just 20% um, heal. Hit chance is always good, you know. Uh, you buff your whole rate, you really have that heroic presence, you know. Uh, and then we have this. I think this is pretty much it, you know, when it comes to PvP. In PvE, uh, and I think this is also why troll is so high. I mean, this is for everything. Like troll uh, is always going. Troll, troll caster is gonna be ins really good, insane burst. Uh, one of the best in PVE. Uh, I have to put something lower, you know. But they're not really that bad, you know. Toren is actually really fun, and you can play Paladin Toren. So cool, you know. Um, Goblin uh, movement is gonna be insane. Dwarf, Night Elf, and Human really good in PVP. Dwo uh, dwarf is also, I think Dwarf is actually also gonna be really good, like, they counter Death Knights, they counter Blitz, uh, it's a meta pick for uh, Rogues, you can also go Night Elf, you know, uh, Shadow Milt is now one of the best ability in PvP, um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think, I'm pretty tired now, so i see you in the next one. Also, before we end, I just wanna show you something. He rocket jump on the ship, you know, it's like really good. I mean, that's so ah. fun, you know. If you play class with no mobility, Goblin can be so fun. And you can actually make a bank everywhere and really good class, really. And I heard starting zones 
from for goblin are really good you know so questing might be really good so yeah